my name is Yana. And I'm Bo. And this is our van Ace Ventura and you can follow us on Go Chase Dreams. I'm gonna start from the outside. So for us, it was really important that we really consider each space really carefully. So really make it multifunctional, really think ahead of time and think, okay, how are we actually gonna use the space? Uh, so we decided to do this is actually kind of a harder decision because we made this beautiful piece and uh, the wooden tiles was kind of really hard choice to cut through, but we mustered the courage and did it. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So this is something that we kind of did for um, you know, if we wanted to just hang around, you know, put a few beers on, maybe put a few chairs on, really enjoy the sunshine if we're just there for a little bit of a spot or just wanted to hang in there. So I thought it was a really good multifunctional use of space, um, as well as, you know, gives us access to the fridge. So in case we need to do any maintenance or anything like that, it's, it's also really great to do. And I'm going to walk you inside and show you a little bit about the other space. And I'm going to show you around in the kitchen. We're really inspired by this like minimal Japanese style and as you know it's really hard to keep things minimal in the van because things get super uh, super kind of busy so I'm gonna walk you through and I'm gonna start you with the lighting and again mood lighting is very important to me so it's um, um, it's really nice to kind of you know when you're in a darker space and the lights are really bright you can choose which lights to turn on and then dim them down to make it you know a little bit of a nice uh, mood so yeah we're gonna move on to the fridge uh, this is the Vertrigo uh, 85 liter fridge it's got a lot a lot of space it's got even a little freezer in there uh, we also have the true induction uh, two burner uh, cook stove. Uh, so it was really uh, again important for us to kind of keep that minimal aesthetic but also at the same time have the space very multifunctional um, then we kind of go into the other kitchen space here so the drawers this was again uh, very interesting so this is from a RV labs um, yeah, so we tried to keep it very minimal, um, kind of we did the backsplash ourselves, so we kind of chose this like really nice penny tile feel. This was actually super fun to, to make. We also kind of used that same white oak um, for the magnetic rack, so we made it ourselves. Uh, we're a big fan of the spice rack. I really, really love this piece. Uh, really big kudos to Bo. So it was really important for us to have very accessible spices as we're um, you know creating our meal here we have our faucet and our sink so I wanted to go for like a really deep big sink so this is about a 19 by 17 uh, sink it's really nice because it has this drying rack and it's also really flush with the actual countertop this is our fourth van so we've had three trial vans before this mm -hmm. so I think that this was something that was a long time coming mm -hmm. and I think we had always wanted to build a van, that we wanted it to be something that uh, was customized to, to our needs and, and there's a lot more value that you can get out of it if you're, if you're buying the individual components and assembling it yourself, but of course you need the time to be able to, to put into building it. So welcome to our little office space up front. So this is typically what you would call a European style layout of the van, which has a separate raised bed in the back and then a separate seating area in the front. So like most vans, we have two integrated swivel seats at the front. We have a standard lagoon table, and this is really, really great because we can swivel it in all sorts of directions, depending on if we want to have dinner or if we're working. And this is a nice live edge piece of map of burl that has resin poured in the middle. And it's a little bit heavy, to be honest, a little bit heavier than what you're supposed to put on a lagoon table, but we really like the aesthetic of it. So that's why we have it. Um, over here, we have our window 
and we really like these guys because they pop open to 45 degrees and you, you might have heard that ding ding that's our alarm and I'll talk about that in a minute but we love these windows because it has the integrated bug screen as well as the blackout blinds or 50 50. so these things are just fantastic and we love them we use them every single day moving up here we have two overhead storage compartments and these are used uh, for electronics and i'm going to show you what's behind this one this is sort of the heart and brain of the van so moving through we have our ring security system so every single door and window has a sensor as well as a small integrated camera right here underneath up here we have all of our switches that control the electronics within the van and then we have a water level as well and i've got two extra ones on there that i haven't used yet uh, and we have our wee boost as well and we can see within this area we have our nice uh, dream sign because our brand is dream chasers this has tons of storage underneath and actually contains our water heater uh, we really love this big bench seat because if you take the cushions off it also flips over and creates a little bit larger than a single bed about a single bed so you can easily sleep another person uh, within that area so this is something that you don't see very often in vans so we have a hidden safe underneath this floorboard so you we try to hide it underneath the carpet but it ra raises up like this and you can access things right now we just have some some money and our passports in there but you lock that up and that's completely hidden underneath the floorboard so in talking about the wood aesthetic of the van uh, all of the cabinetry and the ceilings are white oak and i have never done any cabinetry before but through youtube and articles we learned how to do everything that was necessary to build everything ourselves we didn't outsource any of this so this is a uh, half inch white oak and then we used edge banding along the edges to create a beautiful seamless finish and it's just iron on edge banding super easy to use and then sand the edges and it creates this beautiful clean finish and then we found these wall panels uh, at an interior design store and they're 24 by 24 inches and they have this beautiful pattern already cut into them uh, up here we have our mini curtain up top and then our two large curtains with a little magnetic holder so we kind of already had this like checklist of all the things that we we're gonna do and every time i actually catch myself in the van i'm like we made such an amazing space it like really really works well for us so over here you may think it's a closet but it is not it's a shower and a washroom so when you open it up they are magnetic actually here at the very very top so you'll see they snap open here i'm going to open it up so you can get a better view um, we actually don't see many people um, do this kind of door a lot of people have the nautilus retractable door shower which is really good we actually really use it when we do take a shower if you're like coming back after a really awesome hike you know the least thing you want to do is try to set up your bed or try to figure out how to do a shower so we wanted to have it really easily accessible um, and that was really really important for us so here these are actually like real um, tiles took me a really long time I uh, wanted to kind of have this like more of a stone um, finish uh, and then we used um, the paint that is waterproof in order to make it look this way uh, we also have our washroom so this is the airhead washroom um, we also kind of designed this uh, cedar piece at the bottom so i guess when you're taking a shower it's really nice um, very soft and it's not as cold especially if you're doing this in the you know dead of the winter like we did in calgary uh, we have a mirror here so i use this all the time so in the morning you know when i get ready uh, if i wanted to do a meeting or anything like that so i just get ready here i have we have all of the storage on the inside. So again, if you're having this big space um, and if it's always open, it's not as uh, very useful. Uh, so we wanted to put these kind of pieces in the back. Um, they're not necessarily super neat, but we try to make them as neat as possible. And yeah, that's our space. Okay guys, now I'm gonna show you 
the bedroom. So the great thing about our bed is that even though it looks like it's a fixed bed and it's raised, everything is actually completely removable, including this wall. And I could have everything out of here in about 10, 15 minutes if I really wanted to. So on the back of this wall, I've got little clasps and this whole piece can just be completely removed, which is pretty neat. Um, in this little block, this is our step that allows us to step up onto the bed and that's really useful for a shorter person. And this also provides quick and easy access for us to our storage in the back if we want to access any of our linens or our big backpacks, our camping equipment, anything like that. So I'm going to hop up here and show you some of the stuff up here. There's the step. <sighs> okay. So it's just the right height for me to sit up in bed. Um, a lot of people have one side of their bed without cabinetry so you can fully lean back but we really wanted the additional storage because we have a lot of stuff that we bring with us so both sides left and right have storage the bed itself is a uh, olympic queen so it's six inches wider we have the froley bed spring system which really really gives us extra comfort and replaces an entire box spring and these are fantastic because you can adjust them to your level of comfort on either side, you'll see the bump outs that we talked about uh, and the, the, the flare spaces. And we've lined the flare spaces with very, very soft fabric and a little bit of foam underneath. Our lighting for the, the shower and for this side, and then our lighting for this side. So we have zone control in this thing, it's great. So if you want lighting in any particular area, uh, that was something that was really important to us, having that sort of control, and we really love it. Uh, this is our Fres Air unit, and having an air conditioning in a van is a luxury item, and this is what we call an evaporative cooling system. So it actually pulls water from the water tank and drips it over filter pads, and then blows air through it. And that's how it creates a cooling effect as the water evaporates. My other favorite part would be the roof rack. Mm -hmm. by Remora, yes. Remora roof racks, and we have a cedar deck up top that we can climb up, have a drink up there, watch the sunset, put out a blanket. Yeah, that was like one of the best decisions we've made is to wait the extra time for the solar panels to come in that you can walk on because it's like gives you all of this real estate for essentially having a patio. Okay, so I'm going to take you around the exterior of Ace Ventura, our van. So mounted to the front here, we have these bars on the front to help protect us from any collisions. And then we have our rigid mounted fog light. Um, moving down the side of the vehicle, we have the upgraded uh, BF Goodrich KO2 tires. Under here, we have upgraded, you can see the, the yellow shock here. We have a Bilstein front and rear shocks that we upgraded in the vehicle. We have these lovely side steps made by a car that have really helped because we also included a lift kit. Underneath the van here, we have access to our gray water tank and I have a US solid ball valve that's actually on a switch inside the van so I can flip that at any time and dump our water tank if it's in a good area to do that. So we applied uh, this vinyl decal ourselves uh, with the windows all the way around the vehicle we have awning style windows that we got from Wilderness Vans in Calgary. This is like a small little upgrade that many people wouldn't think about actually, but it's a tiny rain gutter because when you have this door open, we used to get drips coming in all the time when you, because water's coming off the roof and this little rain gutter redirects the water just past the door and we never get any water coming in anymore. It's fantastic. We also have our large roof rack made by Remora Roof Racks, and we'll take you guys up there in a little bit. Um, and then attached to the Remora Roof Rack is our awning, our Thule awning. So these are our flares from Flare Space. And now the Promaster is already quite a wide van. It's wider than the Sprinter and wider than the Ford Transit by about eight to nine inches. So if you want to sleep sideways, you already have quite a bit of space. But if you're a person who is six feet or more than six feet, having those extra couple inches that a flare provides is really, really nice. So before we put in these flares, I was kind of head and foot right up against the side of the van. 
but I loved adding these in because now I can wiggle my toes and I don't feel uh, the, cold, the cold coming through uh, the windows because we have that extra space. So the roof rack is made by a company called Remora out of Quebec. We got a little bit of an upgraded version that has uh, the, both side ladders and a flip down uh, device that can be used for a surfboard, paddleboard or small kayak. And that's something that we're really, really excited about. Up top, we have 270 watt panels. And then in the middle, we have two smaller 110 watt panels. We love these panels because they're thin, they're flexible, and you can actually walk on them. They're hardcore and, we, and we've really enjoyed having them. Okay, so welcome to the garage space in the van. It's a little bit of a mess like most people's, but this is key to our survival in a van because we're able to store so much stuff back here. Over on this side, tucked in behind here, we have our battery system and we have 405 hour lithium ion battery. So that's 420 amp hours of lithium, which is really, really fantastic. And that powers everything we need in the van, including our inverter. And we have a 3000 watt Victron inverter. Over on this side, we have a 40 gallon water tank under here. And it's quite narrow and thin, but it balances kind of well with the weight of the batteries on that side. Uh, at the back, we also have a little outdoor shower. So if you've been surfing or paddle boarding at the beach and you want to wash off sand or any gear before you put it in the back, uh, this is a great little shower to have. We have all of our camping equipment. And most importantly, I have my tool, my tool bag. And I can't tell you how often I have to fix little things in the van that break. So this is, this is an essential part of van life to have a proper tool bag that's easily accessible. <laughs> in White Rock yesterday, no snow, no ice. We, there's a 33 degree hill and, and we went down it and we're like, ooh, this is gonna be a bugger trying to get back up. And we got stuck halfway up the hill and started spinning out going up the hill. And this is with the BF Goodrich tires. And that's just because we're so heavy on the back end, just tilt it up. Mm -hmm. So we start jumping in the front. I'm like, yeah. oh my goodness, it was scary. It was, and there was, it was a, a car behind yeah. us, right? So you start to like get back and the guy's like beeping. And yeah, it was a little bit like- So, it's pretty heavy. So, so we probably shouldn't have tried it. Yeah, probably shouldn't have tried it. <laughs> 